Hey everybody, Rob here for Southwest Florida Television. Saturday morning, oh, about 8.30. 57 degrees here at Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park in North Naples, Florida. Very, very overcast today. I've already been walking on the beach for about a half an hour. Seeing some strange things this morning, some strange sights. Very rough out here along the shore this morning. You can smell the red tide. You can see the discoloration in the water this morning. Seeing quite a few dead fish along the beach this morning. It's just picking up a feather. Had quite a few little feathers already this morning, but We've been seeing lots of little fish. And what I was finding very weird is they're all, their little fish are missing their heads. They all have their heads eaten off. Very strange. I mean, 90% of them are missing their heads. I know the birds usually eat the eyes out of those little fish, but these guys, these fish are missing their entire head. Extremely, extremely weird. <clears throat> that red tide, it's the stench. Oh. These waves don't help. <clears throat> we can see all the little fish here. And what's weird is it's just this one species. For some reason, these little ones... Whatever's eating them, the birds, I assume it's the birds. I don't think it's happening out in the water. But it's just this one species of fish that's headless. <laughs> There's, there you go, sheep's head. That's fine. But all these little ones they look like greenbacks, like those little greenbacks, but bigger. Very weird. Where'd all the heads go? Oh, nice. Is that for me? What a, what a nice find. Where'd you find it? Up in five? Oh, yeah. oh I got to get up there. I got to go. <laughs> Thanks. What a sweet gift. Mike and Maria. Said there's a lot of shells up in Area 5. Look what they just handed me. Look what they just handed me. Is that not cool? I'm going to run up there and get up there quick before the tide comes in higher. That's a nice moon shell. So maybe with something good will come out of this morning beach walk. But that is the weirdest thing, those fish, the headless fish. I mean, for them to have their heads all eaten off, they would have had to have been here for a long time for the birds to do that. Strange. You can see I'm going to get a little closer to the water. You can see the color of it. Not pretty today, not pretty. Churned up from the waves and red tide, so it's muddy. You know, every time I come out here, it's something different. <laughs> you never know what to expect out here. It's always something. <laughs> Down in area three right now, making my way north. The sky box is over here on the right.
right up there is the skybox right up ahead of me here which they're rebuilding that boardwalk and bench and Gary's going to have a new skybox. He's going to have to raise the price of his skybox seat. Walking into the wind here. Sorry. It's coming out of the north, northwest. check out the new boardwalk over here we saw ranger steve working on it the other day we'll see how much they got done it's amazing how talented our rangers are plumbers they're plumbers electricians carpenters <laughs> they do it all these guys they're awesome they are awesome all right so they got one section done here Nice, nice, nice. The skybox, the boardwalk to the skybox. <laughs> Where's Gary? <laughs> Where's our buddy Gary? Yeah, he did say that, didn't he, Annie? <laughs> he said he's going to let everybody in for free in 2021. <laughs> That's funny. He didn't know. Well, he did know it was getting rebuilt. He did know that. He actually, we talked about that in one of our little chats. The woman that donated the money. I believe it was in memory of her mom. She was having that redone in memory of her mom. Lots of little dead fish here along the beach, lots of them. I've only seen a few bigger fish. those clouds so I don't think we're going to get any rain some pretty interesting clouds huh pretty ominous looking clouds I know. Did you notice all the little fish without the heads? I know that. I, know that. <laughs> I had to stop and make a little video. The mystery of the missing heads. Well, it's know, like the worst part of the thing to eat would be the head. It is. It's weird how. I mean, they have to be there for a while for the birds to do that. Maybe. And it's like all of them. Well, you know, Mike said he thought it was probably the fish. Not the fish eating their heads off. It's something before they got in. It's, it's a mystery. It is strange. It's a first. <laughs> It is a first. The mystery of the missing fish heads. <laughs> I 
I got a feeling Roy's sitting in my car. I don't know what he was thinking this morning. He came out, and I'm like, you're in your shorts. He's like, well, I thought it was going to be warm today. I mean, I'm in my shorts, but he gets cold very, very easily. And it is kind of chilly, i got to admit, with that wind blowing. He said he might just sit in the car, try to go for a walk, and then sit in my car. See if he's frozen to his tree stump up here. I've even seen some dead shrimp washed up on the beach here this morning. Usually don't see a lot of them. beach walk tomorrow morning don't forget you can sleep in tomorrow tomorrow's supposed to be a little cooler I think than today we'll see. I have to go to I have to do a shoot some video at a church here tomorrow morning so little conflicting schedule there As you can see, cloudy all around, clouds everywhere. <coughs> Not a good beach day. Whew. Although there's still people here walking the beach. There's some people that you're not going to keep them away. They got to get their beach walk in in the morning. Determined. Uh, what's that, a mullet? Big mullet, dead mullet. I've only seen so far a couple bigger fish. They've all been those smaller ones all been these little smaller ones without their heads <laughs> bitten clean off there strange 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 oh, Roy's up under the tree bundled up with some towels he's up there amongst the bushes out of the wind I don't know if you can see him. You can see him if you look really close, right over there. <laughs> I don't know if he went for his walk this morning. Oh. Ooh, that breeze is picking up here further north up the beach I get Boy, 
those waves are really big up here in Area 5. Really big. Up to the north. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. Looks like there's somebody out in the water up there. <laughs> Surfers, that many figures. Oh boy. Man. It's bizarre. Every time I see the, I mean, I'm passing by hundreds of these little fish like this, and out of all of them that I pass by, I'd say maybe 10% of them have their heads on. Crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Where's these shells? Mike said there was some, lots of nice shells. And, well, he said there's lots of shells. He didn't say nice. He handed me a nice moon shell. What's up, bud? It's awesome. You just getting out here? No, I've been here since six. Any shells down here? Did you just roll out of your hammock back there? Any shells down here? Yeah. I heard there was a lot. <laughs> I mean, Mike and Maria, don't be trying to run ahead of me. Don't be trying to run ahead of me. <laughs> look what Mike handed me. He said, there's, look at that. You see that? He said, there's piles of them up here. He said, there's hundreds of them. <laughs> you got to check the beach out. All the fish are missing their heads. Yeah, their heads are gone off all the fish on the beach. Look. I don't know. There are all of them. <laughs> it's a mystery. I figured you'd have the answer since you're a park ranger. Getting a good workout here this morning. <laughs> I'm walking fast. Kevin's trying to beat me up to the pass. Yeah, the rac I saw a raccoon out at the, at the point yesterday. raccoons look look every single one of them be careful don't lay down on the beach you're gonna lose your head <laughs> look at all the shells you're passing by man oh lordy look at this what a bum just because he works there he thinks he owns the place <laughs> <laughs> All the way down the beach. I went down past area twos. The big ones, they got all the big ones got their heads. It's just those little ones. You're taking the high road? You're a good man. Uh, it's a race, a race to the point. Whew. Oh man, there are so many shells. The water is so cloudy here. I can't see the bottom, but I can feel just piles. Of, I feel piles of shells under here. There you go. There's some shells. For you, Kevin, on that tree. Somebody does. There was one of our friends here said he saw somebody with a bag just picking them off the trees like fruit.
I see him. But there's somebody out there. We'll take him for a little swim in the pass. Look at them all. Look at them all up there, man. Somebody's getting all the good ones. All right, here we go. On the hunt. On the hunt. Lots of fighting conks down here. But here's the here's the spread. Ah, some old lightning whelks down here. Quite a few of them. A lot of cockle shells. A lot of cockles. A lot of little turkey wing shells. That's a pear whelk right here. Got lots of cockle shells. Kevin's getting into the thick of it up there. Man, that scallops. We've got some nice scallops out here today. Nice little scallops. Love those scallops. Moon shell. Nice little moon shell there. Another moon. Faded eye. Over here is a whole cockle shell. A whole cockle. Somebody will want that. Nice whole cockle shell. With the angel or the heart when you... When you turn it on. Yeah. Moon shells. Live ones. Nice little tulip, I think. A nice little tulip over here. Ah, chipped up tulip shell, darn it. A little chipped up tulip shell. God, so many lightning whelks. Lightning whelks here. Fighting conks, lightning whelks. Broken lightning whelks. Angel wing, there's an angel wing over here. A little chip in it. I'll leave that for somebody else. Broken angel wing shell. Man, I'm just blown away by all the whelks up here. It's a good spot right in there. Oh, uh -huh. Look, yeah, I saw a couple dead crabs down there. There's angel. Look at all the angel wings. Look at them all. Look, look at them all. Angel wing, angel wing paradise here again. Oh yeah. Look at all these angel wings. Incredible. Incredible. A crown conch. Nice little crown conch there. Man. What all is 
There's so much. There's lots of angel wings here. Anybody wanting some angel wings? There's plenty of them up here. Yeah, broken, a couple broken tulip shells over here. The tulip shell. Just amazing. That shift in the wind. Right out on the point is where all those shells are just bunched up. Right over here. Just amazing. No moon shells, or else somebody got the moon shells earlier. Haven't seen any moons yet. No shortage of the lightning whelks. No shortage of the angel wings. All different size angel wings here. Look at that. Look at them all. Smelling that red tide, unfortunately. But all the whelks, I haven't found a whelk in super good condition yet. They're all chipped. They've got great colors on them, the lightning whelks, beautiful colors, but they're all, so far, they're all been chipped. Oh man, there was a moon shell right down there. I went to grab it, <laughs> and the waves, where did the waves, all right, they just covered it up. All right, there it is. And it's a little, <laughs> little chipped up, pew. That water stinks. A little moon shell, I'm gonna leave that here. How cool. Another. Kevin's getting way ahead of me up there. Man. He's in the into another pile of good stuff up there. Hopefully he'll leave me something. He'll miss it. He's looking for cone shells. That's Kevin's favorite, the cones. Those alphabet cones. Just pushed all the shells away. There was a pile of them in there. Hey, did it leave me a moon? Nope, another broken moon shell. I'm trying to beat the tide here. Beat the tide. Little Apple Murex. Little Apple Murex, a moon right now. Little apple murex shell. Put that in my pocket. Grab a moon here. Oh, this one's chipped up too. This moon shell's busted up as well. Ah. All the tulips I've seen are busted up also. A lot of broken tulip shells. Another broken moon shell. As you see, we're right up at Wiggins Pass here. Right along the edge of the pass. All these moons are broken. They're all broken. Everyone I've seen so far. Every moon shell I picked up is... So many whelk shells. So many whelks. 
all they all have the chipped edges. You found a Murex. I bet when Kevin first watched one of my videos on YouTube a couple years ago, he never dreamed he'd be down here on the beach with me picking up shells. Just amazing. Deal with that red tide though. Ooh. That's keeping a lot of people away, that's for sure. A whole this is a whole different beach compared to yesterday. It's hoping to find one nice lightning well, just one. With its tail. Nope. Chipped up as well. I am walking kind of fast. Oh, here's a Murex, another Apple Murex down here. Another little Apple Murex. I can't put these angel wings in my pocket. They're so darn fragile. There's a little Apple Murex there. All right, this is another good spot right over here. Right here in this little bend is, I have found some nice shells in the past. There we go. There we go, there's a moon shell. There's a moon. how white that is on the bottom. There you go, that's a nice one. Surprised that got past Kevin. Up in here by all these leaves. Little turkey wing, been seeing a lot of little turkey wings. Oh, another big moon shell. Another nice big moon shell right there. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Nothing in it. Nice. Almost matches the other one I just picked up. Almost a perfect matching pair. Guarantee you there's some buried. Guarantee it. Nice little nautica shell there. See another nautica. I think it, nope. Piece of a Oh, that one's chipped up too, the lightning whelk. A little chipped up lightning whelk. Darn. <sighs> Dead fish. Well. I'm happy, I got a couple nice moon shells, some angel wings, can't complain. Can't complain.
My angel wings. Not bad. Not bad. And I just took, I don't know what, half a dozen. There's a pile of them over there. I'm kind of trucking along here. I'm not spending the time I should. I'm not enjoying the red tide smell. But I sure am enjoying the shelling. An old moon down here. An old big moon shell. Another one. And that's it. And the shells end here. Make my way back and see what I missed. The two-step process, you know how it goes. Everything looks different. You look at it from the backside, it's a whole different animal. Boy, a lot of fighting conks. Anybody wanting cockle shells, conch shells, there's plenty of them here. But you gotta beat that high tide. Get here before the tide comes in. It's under this little pile of leaves here. I got to straighten the back out here. Straighten the old back out. Piece of a crown conch. Nice color on that and the little points. The king's crown or crown conch. Beautiful color. But it's missing the backside. <laughs> That water's coming up here now. <coughs> Pulling all the shells back into the pass. Lots of nice little turkey wings out here this morning, too. Lots of nice, colorful turkey wings. The turkey wing shell. Even though it's not the prettiest day out, I'm happy. I'm happy with my little handful of shells that I got here. Excuse me. 
I just can't. It's like I get a tickle in my throat from that red tide. Oh man, it's horrible. It is. You think so? Ah. Uh. boy. I'm still looking here as I'm walking. Still looking. I was hoping to find a nice tulip, but son of a gun. I guess it wasn't a tulip morning. Or a cone shell, unless somebody else, like I said, somebody else might have beat us to them. Probably gonna be some good shelling though over the next couple days with these waves. Ah, broken moons. scallop nice little scallop shell to add to my scallop collection little ain't as broke I think that's broken a yeah, piece of a tulip shell down there. Huh. Interesting. Wonder what's under this board. So many. So many lightning whelks. Murex, another little Murex shell. Apple Murex. It's amazing, you just keep staring and stuff just pops out while you're staring here at the ground. Angel wing down there. Pretty nice angel wing. That'll clean up. Another nautica shell down here. I don't know what it looks like. It's upside up. Nope, oh, it's actually an old broken moon shell. So many, so many broken shells today. Lots of conch shells for Robert. <laughs> yeah, if you were out here, Robert, you'd have a bag full of them. Nice size angel wing right there. 
nice size one there. Boy, there's another one over here, a big broken one, half of an angel wing. That's a good size one there. Stop eating the dead fish. These darn birds are eating all the dead fish. <sighs> ah, my back needs to be straightened again. Can only stoop over for so long here. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Boy, more angel wings, incredible. Incredible, look at that. Just amazing. Yeah, a lot of stuff out here this morning. A lot of angel wings again. Oh, I got, I got so many of them. <laughs> yeah. Tons. Of, so many angel wings out here today. I don't know why. They just come in waves like that. Remember that last time I was just picking them up? I had a handful of them a week or so ago. And then we don't see them for a year. <laughs> if you find one, you're lucky. Well, the shells are starting to thin out here. Starting to thin out. That was cool. Cool, cool. Not many moon shells, though. Hmm. Wonder where the moons are. Hopefully they're alive and away from the red tide. Boy, yesterday, I, those pictures I shared, it was gorgeous out here with the sun out. Nice colors in the water, but not happening today. <laughs> so up. Where I, where I was shelling was up where you see those people, right at that band, right at the point there of the beach. That's where the shells are piling up. And around the corner to the right. But pretty soon they're gonna be underwater. And then there, as the tide cut, goes out it's going to pull them out into the water spread them all out on the beach I'm sure there'll be some nice little finds later maybe three hours before low tide <coughs> uh.
there's a surfer out there a couple of them riding the red tide <laughs> Those waves are big. They don't look very big in the camera, but man, some of them are really good sized. That water got all the way up into here last night. All the way up into here is wet. There's my handful of angel wing shells again. Just absolutely amazing, isn't it? Isn't that amazing? Oh, it just goes on Facebook. Oh. <laughs> yep. Yeah. So Kevin's, our friend Kevin Nestor, his thought about all those fish that we saw them missing their heads. He said, eh, maybe the raccoons came out and ate their heads off. I mean, there are a lot of raccoons in this park, but my gosh. What's kind of nice now is with the tide coming in, it's kind of cleaning the beach off. It's kind of pulling all those dead fish back out into the water.
current is strong out there, believe me. To move these buoys with their concrete anchors and everything and chains, that's a strong current. some pelicans. I don't know if you can see them out there. Flying to the right. gonna come up here and see if the old tortoise was out but or one of the tortoises I don't see him down there I don't see him down there no way peeking out at me this morning. <sighs> Trying to get these angel wings organized in my hand here. Starting to see a little patch of sky there to the north on the horizon there. Just above the horizon, see a little blue peeking through. More of the headless fish. <laughs> More of the headless fish. Absolutely crazy. If it was the raccoons, boy, did they have a party last night. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, stinky right in here. I don't know what it's like down at the pier. I've heard there was 
The red tide was bad the other day down by the pier. I don't know if that's still the case. It's getting a little brighter up to the north. I gotta go over to the car and put all my little angel wing shells in it. So, do that real quick. Not yet. No. Not yet. I might go sit in the car. I'm cold. Is it open? Yep, all, the car's always open for you, Roy. Always open for Daddy-O. My little beach buggy. <laughs> I got half the sand from the beach in my car. <clears throat> my trunk and my floor mats. But it serves its purpose. It gets me around. <laughs> Where's my moon shells? Where's my moon shells from today? I don't know where, let's see. One, two, didn't get a whole lot of moons today. Run the heater? Frozen. <laughs> it's, I'm, I'm breaking out, starting to break out in a sweat here. There's my little moon shells for the day. Thought I had one more. Thought I had one more big one. There's my moons for the day. <laughs> well, I think I'm going to call it a morning here. Roy wants to go warm up. It does look like the clouds are thinning out up ahead of me there to the north. Remember, no beach walk tomorrow. You guys get the day off. But if you appreciate what I do, if you enjoy our time together in the mornings, you can find a link to my PayPal account in the description of this post if you want to send a little thank you. A little tip and I appreciate it
hopefully the next time I'm out here, things are going to be nicer. Things are going to look better and brighter and cleaner. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching today. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday. Have a wonderful Sunday. I'll see you back out here Monday unless something happens tomorrow. If the spirit moves me and I come out in the afternoon or something, we'll see what happens. All depends on the weather and how I'm feeling towards the end of the day. But thanks for being a friend. Thanks for being a supporter. Spread the word about what we're doing here bringing people together, one beach walk at a time. Tally-ho, tally-ho. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless. Thanks for watching, Deborah, Jackie, Connie, Leslie. Thanks, everybody.